Hi guys. Hey guys. Now I know this is still new, but I feel like you know we can go somewhere here. We yeah. have something special. I feel. I see a vision. I us. sense it. You know, and there's like an energy. You know. So forget about everyone who's let you down in the past. And I know we're only like two episodes, three yeah, episodes. Like, oh my God, in. it's a fresh thing. It's, it's a new too thing. Soon. It's too soon. Don't worry. Trust us. Just press subscribe. Mm. And let's take this to the next level. That won't. Yes. So. Today's topic is the one. How I knew I found the one. Yes. And how thanks to you. See, I found the one. Yes. That. Mm. So we've bro broken it down into three stages. Stage one being what was the one for each one of us before. Yeah. Uh, we even met each other, and then when we're dating or shillering, mm. and then how we knew it was the one for marriage. Yes. Okay. So stage number one, mm -hmm. uh, the before, the, okay, the one for me before we even met, at the time that I met Tavi, I wasn't even looking for the one. Mm -hmm. I was just not interested. I was just out there. And I didn't, I didn't want. Which is like very hard to believe because we're yeah. very much marriage yeah. material. So yeah, like I, I was, I was know. raised well and I was like, I have just a natural boopy, <laughs> happy, yeah. I've got a happy vibe, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> you so, too, I'm not going to argue with yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I kind of always been that way. So it's kind of shocking to believe that this one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, games. <laughs> but... <laughs> Like, for real, I just wasn't interested in that sort of stuff. When I met Tabby, I was like, I'm just now just going to live my life. I don't want a relationship of any kind. I don't want. And then I met her, which is funny, because if you go back to our first episode, yeah. I said I was looking for someone who wasn't looking. So and what were yet, you looking for? Yet I was the one who wasn't looking. But you were not looking for a relationship, but you were like, I want that one. I was always like, John. Mm -hmm. But she did something, and uh, <laughs> and I'll get to it. I'll I'll get to it. that's point number two. That's point number two. Yeah. But yeah. Um. So I wasn't looking for the one, and in terms of like my list yeah. for what the one was. But you you didn't even have a list. Yeah. You had a type. I had a type. But you didn't have a list. I had a type, but not a list exactly. Yeah. And the type that I was generally like friends with, like my female friends and stuff. Your friends were your type. No, it's like, I, I guess my type, because I like have the same type of female friends. Okay. I generally have the same type of female That's friends. True. So I assume that like my type was somewhere in there. In that. <laughs> and they're all like very strong, go-getter type, like a conquer the world type, you know, Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. Like that, those are the type of like mm -hmm. female friends I tend to have. Yeah. Like, I can do anything, defeat anything, like, mm. you know. So, when I met you, you were way outside of that type. Way, way, way outside. So, me, I'm not a conqueror of nothing. No, I, I'm sure there are things that you want to conquer, but it's not the world. <laughs> no, I'm not, I have not tried to conquer the world. <laughs> you know it's not my portion. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, when we met... Like, yeah, you were just way outside of what I would have ordinarily been friends yeah. or even considered in dating. Mm -hmm. But you were beautiful. You still are. Like, she's actually much more beautiful now. Like, <gasps> yeah, no. You, you, like, really. Like, I've Happy. seen you go from, like, hot to, like, wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to... But you keep saying things to calm me down. No, but it's true. Like, what you are now is like the, the what I dreamed of. With that, like, if only you oh, Jesus, yo. If only she could just do this. <laughs> you are now that. So. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, that was me before. And you? Me. Before I had a list. Mm -hmm. So I wrote my list in high school in a red diary. I remember mm -hmm. it very mm -hmm. clearly. So first on the list was saved. Yes. Like relationship with God, not a religion, 
type mm-hmm. saved, just saved. Yeah. That was a non-negotiable. Yes. Second, he had to be smart. Okay. Because me, I enjoy good conversations. Mm-hmm. Dense, you know, like yeah. rich thick conversations. Conversation. Like thick. Yes. Like you have to get me thinking. Yeah. Like I have to be able to yeah. learn from you. Yes. You know? Mm-hmm. And funny. Because, mm-hmm. man, funny guys. Yeah. Funny guys. They stay must, winning. Yeah, they stay winning. Yeah. 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 So he had to be saved. Mm-hmm smart mm-hmm. and funny okay so that was high school okay all right then now, now that brings us to number two mm-hmm. which was the the one and shellary dating mm-hmm. okay so for me that's where things get interesting now yeah. because there was a day and i'll never forget that day yeah it's like in my memory you know those things that like i'll never forget that i went to go see tabby who was still in the shellaration and the shellarization. Okay. Yes. So um, I went to see her and she came downstairs by her res and we were sitting by like benches and I was broke and I was like, I'm broke. I can't take you anywhere. And you're like, that no. Day. But you had taken yeah. me somewhere before. before yeah. That day you were just like, it's not yeah, a student to life. Hey, mm. So I was, so she, she, I remember you said to me that it's fine. Um, even if we sat and drank water, I still enjoy spending time with you. And I was just like, oof, oof. those are the things that they only say in movies. You know? <laughs> and you were saying it for real, and you meant it. I did. And you meant it for me, <laughs> in particular. You didn't mean it in general. Yeah. It wasn't like a blanket no, statement. No, no, it's not a blanket statement. It was like, yeah. for me. Mm. And that changed the game. Because I just never didn't know that anyone could feel that way yeah. about a person, let alone me. And I immediately wrote that down on my, you know, I was like, I don't know where this thing yeah. is going to go. But whoever I end up with, they need to, to love me and drink water. <laughs> <laughs> they must drink water loving me. <laughs> so, so... That's that was the start of my mm. the one list. Okay. Yeah. And then for me, just before we started dating, actually, I was going through a phase, you know. Mm-hmm. I went through a very life changing mm-hmm. event. Yes. Which led me to add to this list mm-hmm. a very specific box to tick. Okay. Yeah. All right. And this box, like the line comes from I don't know if you guys know genetics. With the famous poem called I Will Wait For You. I Will Wait For You. I Will Wait. Yes. Yes. So the line goes something like, I have thoughts saved as Mm -hmm. in a file that Father God equipped only you to open. Mm -hmm. So I have thoughts Mm -hmm. saved as in a file that Father God only equipped you to open. Mm -hmm. So that was my... Can you hear how specific this box was? Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, and then while we were hanging out, we weren't mm-hmm. dating. Mm-hmm. You said something to me. I didn't say anything back in particular. I just had a, you know, reaction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you just read my face and you were like, this is what you're thinking. Mm-hmm. And it was exactly what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. Lord, this is soon. Yeah. Like, cause I had made that prayer and that request like shortly before. Yeah. We met. Yeah. So for you to like, I was like, Lord, that was soon. That was but Jesus was hey, like, you, you know, get what yeah. you prayed for, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, immediately. You're like, how? I thought it would take 10 minutes. Yeah, right? You were ready to I was like, like yeah, order. two yeah, no. yeah. That's my friend. My yeah. friend from the first video. Yeah. I was now like, Lord, it's just three years. Yeah. Really nine, eh? And mm-hmm. then these romantic things we'll see after three years. Yeah. And then the Lord is like, now today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wow. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. So I've been sidetracked now. Yeah. So you said something, and I was just like, and then you were just like, "This is what you're thinking," and mm-hmm. it was true, and my mm-hmm. mind was blown. Yeah. So, and then when we did start dating, you took it to the next level. Mm-hmm. Like you became a learner of mm-hmm. me. Like mm-hmm. you learned my facial expressions. Mm-hmm. 
you learn my word choice. Mm. You learn to interpret my silence. Yeah. Which a lot of people, since I'm very introverted, mm. a lot of people like mistake that for she just doesn't like people. Mm. You know, but you have never been like Tabiso is. Yeah. You know, she just mm. doesn't like people. You've just understood me on a level that no one has ever understood me before. Yeah. You've been always been able to like unpack me mm -hmm. to a point where you just leave me like flabbergasted. Yeah. Well, how did you do that? <laughs> yeah. So, but like not only was that instinctive yeah. for you when we met, like when we started dating, even yeah. today when we married, you yeah. still very much study me. Yeah. Like, yeah. like a course. Like, yeah. I'm I, about to ace this exam type okay. thing. So, very, so all those things led yeah. you to be like to like number this is, this is to, to point number three to where it's like this is my husband. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then for me, the point where I said this is my wife. Mm -hmm. All right. So like I said, I came in with not very many things on my list. Mm -hmm. And you started to add in things like water, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all these things. And um, so essentially, you are the embodiment of my list. You know, this is the personification of a list. You know what I'm saying? It's nice, man, <laughs> to, to write your pain, to create your pain into what you want. Grand. But um, yes, so one of the things that you did that I'd never seen before, mm -hmm. this is when we were dating as well, you saw the Lord's vision for my life before even I saw it. And you, 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 I mean, and you'd speak into it and invest in it. And you're like, no, God, like, you have a, an anointing for this thing. And I, at the time, I was like, you know, mm -hmm. and it would just keep revealing itself. And you were the one who, you know, saw that and identified it. And, you know, the, it came a point in time where you, where you realized, and it's important as a Christian, Mm -hmm. it's just a takeaway for this video yeah is that the person who you marry ultimately they need to to be to be the one who can take the god's divine purpose and vision for your life and take it to the next level mm -hmm. you know and only you could do that you know and you could probably like you know do baby baby things and love and what romantic thing things mm -hmm. it's pretty much anyone right yeah but only one person can really take you know that divine purpose and that ministry yeah to the next level and that was you you know you you really like wow and i just said no no this is the one she's the one and yeah so that's how i knew you were the woman i should marry mm -hmm. and um for me, um, there was one other thing. Mm -hmm. I knew you were going to make a great father. Because uh -huh. you'd always talk about, this is what I want to do for my kids. Mm -hmm. I want to spend time with my kids. I want to be able to like drop them off at school. I want yes. to be able to have an actual relationship mm -hmm. with them. And like, just the way you talk about your future kids, and they're not even here yet. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is a good like I have an excellent father. Like mm -hmm. I adore him. Yeah, he's great. So yeah. he's amazing. Yeah. You're amazing too. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Because yeah. I knew he was gonna be a good father. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about choosing a partner as well, or choosing a, a husband as well. You're not just choosing your husband, you're choosing your father's I mean your children's father. father. Yeah. which is very important it's oh, yeah. not just a decision for you to make like yeah. you're thinking for generations to come yeah so be careful or yeah. just be very like, think about it choose wisely yeah think about it don't jump into anything yeah and one last thing yes yeah um you actually have to like your person like i don't just love you mm -hmm. which i really do mm -hmm. i really 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 like you yeah I'm yeah. your fave. You're my fave. Yes. You're yeah. a five. I'm the best. Thing. Like an entire five. I'm Chomi. Like, Mutuanga. Mutuanga. You're my person. Chomi. Hey. 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. But yeah, even if we were not yeah. like in a romantic relationship, mm -hmm. this, you would be friends for sure. Yeah. Ask his friends. Yeah. He's a good friend. 
Yeah. He's an incredible friend. Yes. Yes. So that's us. And, and I get one. to go home with him. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, comment, everyone who's requested a video. Subscribe. You know, we're we're getting to 100 subscribers. Yes. Yay. Hopefully next time we'll be celebrating 100. Yes. We appreciate the support. If you've made a request, we're going to do a video and we'll put you back. Yes. And yes. Thank you so much for watching and right. commenting. We really appreciate you. Yes. Yeah. Right. Bye. Bye.